Welcome back to our channel. We hope you enjoyed our previous quiz on motivation and psychology. Today, we have another exciting episode lined up with even better questions to challenge your knowledge. Get ready to test yourself and expand your understanding of these fascinating subjects. Question 1 Let's kick off with the first question. What are the three basic types of motivation according to self-determination theory? Is it A. Autonomy, competence, and relatedness. B. Safety, love, and belonging. C. Achievement, power, and affiliation. The correct answer is A. Autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Self-determination theory suggests that humans have three fundamental psychological needs, autonomy, the desire for independence and choice, competence, the need to feel capable and effective, and relatedness, the need for social connections and a sense of belonging. Question 2. What role does attribution theory play in motivation? Is it A. The tendency to attribute our successes to internal factors and failures to external factors. B. The process of transferring our emotions onto others. C. The tendency to conform to social norms. The correct answer is A. The tendency to attribute our successes to internal factors and failures to external factors. Attribution theory refers to how we attribute causes to our own behavior and the behavior of others. The tendency to attribute our successes to internal factors, such as skills, and failures to external factors, such as luck, influences our motivation and perception of our capabilities. Question 3. Now, let's delve into the concept of self-efficacy for our next question. What does self-efficacy refer to? Is it A. The belief in our ability to succeed in specific situations. B. The process of setting and achieving ambitious goals. C. The belief that our motivation is independent of our desires. The correct answer is A. The belief in our ability to succeed in specific situations. Self-efficacy refers to the belief in our own capability to successfully accomplish tasks or goals in specific situations. It plays a significant role in motivation, effort, and perseverance. Question 4. Let's now move on to the final question of this episode. What does self-actualization refer to according to Abraham Maslow? Is it A. The desire to achieve one's full potential and personal growth. B. The belief that our abilities are limited. C. The tendency to conform to others' expectations. The correct answer is A. The desire to achieve one's full potential and personal growth. Self-actualization refers to the desire to achieve one's full potential, personal growth, and striving to fulfill the highest level needs. Maslow believed that individuals have an innate drive for self-actualization. That concludes our second quiz on motivation and psychology. How did you do? We hope you enjoyed the challenge and learned something new along the way. Remember, expanding our knowledge about motivation and psychology can lead to a better understanding of ourselves and others. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment with your quiz score. Stay curious and keep exploring the depths of the human mind.